Hello everyone, this is Lolly, and I have something new to show you today. So this just came. I thought about this a long while. It is rather pricey for what it is, and then you pay tax and shipping on top of that. So I'll give you the price right over here as to what I paid for mine. Shipping and tax to your location will be a little different. I've seen some reviews on this, and I just felt like more needs to be said about it. So <laughs> I'm going to play around. I will take this out, show you what's included, and then I will play with it and give you uh, all the pluses and minuses and my opinion and everything. It comes with this little band to hold it in place. And I love this band, by the way. That's going to be kept. So we have a stand for the uh, glue press. I keep wanting to call it a glue gun, not a glue gun. It's got a little silicone pad here to hold your the tip of your glue against. So the point of this is having it easier to squeeze your glue. So you just unscrew this, put your lid right there in the holder, and then you can put that down like that and store it that way. And then when you do, the little tip of your glue needle, glue pin is right up against that silicone so it's not uh, plugging up and staying fresh. So if you are using it a lot, that would be very helpful. So let's get that back in there. The two glue, the glue that it comes with is the Nouveau Precision Craft Glue. And this is a craft adhesive. This is the two ounce size. And it also comes with the refillable bottle, which does have a Nouveau label on it. And obviously you can fill it with whatever you want. You see the different color of the band right across here. The gray shows you that what you're dealing with in this one is the larger tip. So this is more like what you would see for a standard, not precision glue bottle. Also has a little pin inside the cap, just like the first one. So we have to look at the cost includes not just this, but the fact that you are getting a refillable bottle. These two caps here that do have the fine point uh, precision tips on them. And then you are getting two ounces of the Nouveau Deluxe Adhesive. So that is considered that in the cost of the whole product. And let's get started playing around and reviewing. Okay, I have been playing with this and let's discuss my results here. Trust me, you were gonna want to stay around to the end because I'm gonna reveal a secret in this video that is going to make this even easier to use. So let's get started and get right into it. The whole purpose, from my understanding, the purpose behind getting this glue press with its handy stand is twofold. One is to make it easier to squeeze your glue bottle and preventing hand strain. And the other would be that when you're using your glue over a long period of time and not capping it for a long project, that the glue tip will not clog because it will be upside down, always ready to squirt and be touching against this nice handy silicone pad in there. Okay, so let's look at these ideas. First, let's look at the actual strength to squeeze glue. So when we remove the tip, make sure you leave the coupler on here because a standard um, glue bottle does not have two pieces. It just has one for uh, Nuvo. So when you unscrew that, make sure that you are careful with that needle, come straight down here and fit that lid firmly in place so that you don't lose it. Now, one of the things I've noticed about this is I, I did see one person do a uh, review of it. She put it in until she heard it click and she quit. One thing about this is when you put this in, you put it in and you hear a click and you think you're done, but if you still see the glue bottle sticking up above this uh, glue press, you're not done. It has to be all the way down to where it's flush. Otherwise, when you put it in here, the precision tip is not going to be pressed against that silicone pad and it's not going to prevent it from clogging. So that is really important, first thing. Secondly, and let's get some darkish paper here so that you can see my work. Let's take this back out and show you. Okay, so when I squeeze a glue, glue bottle, people, you know, if you're trying a product and you say, is it actually easier to squeeze? First of all, it depends on your technique, right? So when I hold my glue bottle, I'm either using two fingers in the back and a thumb in front, or I'm using one in front and, and, and back and, one, and the thumb in front. It depends. So when you do it this way, I feel pressure or tension all in here from the force required to make this work. 
Okay, now when I put it in here, I just got glue there, snap it all the way in. Okay, when I put this in and I start using it from this way, now instead of using two fingers and a thumb, maybe I'm using all fingers and no thumb. My thumb is just holding the this, but it's not actually working. So what you're gonna find is the energy expended on this is divided between four fingers instead of one or two, and you're having a lot of a better control. It does take less pressure. The other thing is, if I just squeeze this and just keep holding it, I can get a long, steady stream. And it just keeps going and going and going. This steady stream is very hard to obtain with just holding a glue bottle. But the other thing we need to talk, to, talk about is ergonomics. This piece adds two and a half ounces to the overall weight of this glue bottle. So for instance, this is a two ounce of glue, probably another half ounce or at, at most of a uh, bottle itself. So I am adding another, I'm doubling the weight of this by adding this gadget here. This glue press doubles the weight of my glue bottle. So if you have hand fatigue, that could contribute to more hand fatigue. You just need to be aware of what your triggers are for your hand fatigue. And if the weight is too much, I mean, overall, two and a half ounces is not bad in the scheme of things, but you just need to understand that it does add weight to your glue bottle. Many people have chosen not to use four ounce glue bottles because the extra weight, they use the two ounces. So that may affect it. The other thing is, let's, let's put that uh, press back in its stand. The other thing is the hand position that you use. Now I'm gonna switch out and I'm going to use the other tip. This is the um, wider or broader tip that comes with the uh, set here. I'm using an extra glue bottle just to show you. The gray coupler is the one that has the medium or regular tip. There we go. And you can see what a nice tip that is. But when I'm gluing, I generally rest my wrist on the table and glue like this. Sometimes straight up and down if I want a precision dot, usually a slight bit of an angle. Okay, so what's the difference between the ergonomics of using my hand on that versus using my hand on this? That is, if I want to rest my wrist on the table, you can see what happens. I can't get that glue tip down on the project. So I have to really come at it at a, an extreme angle here in my gluing, which isn't a problem. I'm not, this is not a complaint. It's an observation that you will really have to lay that out there at an angle in order to get that. You can't, I normally glue it about this angle. So now my wrist is up off the table. Um, if you want to come perpendicular, perpendicular to your project, now my wrist, you can see the bend in my wrist and it's creating tension all in here and in here. If you have carpal tunnel syndrome, this could be an issue. So the hand position and the wrist position are important when considering hand fatigue and wrist fatigue. You can't just say, oh, I like a tool because it's easy to squeeze. There are more uh, details involved in the dynamics of whether it's actually easier or not to squeeze. And one of those dynamics is your health. Do you have arthritis in the finger? Do you have carpal tunnel? It depends on you, the crafter. Overall, it really depends on your particular health needs. So it could be helpful for you. Maybe it won't be. So that is something you will have to determine. I'm giving you all the ideas I'm coming up with. But the fact that it does have this nice steady stream with little effort really makes it a, a positive for me. Uh, another thing is when you are using all this glue, you can't just keep something like this airtight against a silicone pad or squeezing glue out without eventually letting air back in. So just be mindful of that. It's not a design flaw. They can't let, just let air come in by putting a hole in the bottom of the glue bottle, obviously. So just like when you're using shampoo, you've got to let the air back in now and then. So give it a rest, let the air get back in there before putting it back on its stand. The other thing uh, we're looking at is, does the silicone pad prevent clogging of the tip? 
yes, it does a really good job. You don't have to constantly putting the needle back or the pin back in the precision tip. As long as you've got that glue bottle seated into the precision glue press, just as I stated, you will be happy with this. Um, uh, one of my friends has this. She has let it go a couple days without using it, pulled it back out. You just pull that little glue right off the tip there and it's good to go again. Um, if you ever, however, you are going to be maybe going away on vacation, I would advise you to go ahead and pull this out and go ahead and recap it. But this is particular to this glue bottle. When the Precision Tips came out from Tonic Studios, I bought a set. They do come in a set of two with the coupler. They look like this. Um, but if you are doing your normal crafting and there's a lot of glue in this tip right now because it's been upside down and I've been using it. If you keep doing that and you are not careful when it comes time to put this on there and you go to put your needle in there right back or a pin right back in that tip, you could be essentially gluing that pin right into the nozzle and I'll show you what has happened to mine. The very first set of precision tips that I got from Tonic when I pulled out that pin, the tip was missing, the metal tip. You see the difference between these two right there? The one on the right is missing this little metal pin, metal, metal tip, and it's gone, and there was no way to put it back in there. It could even be down inside the glue bottle for all I know. So they replaced it, and then the second one did the exact same thing as this one. So you just need to be mindful. If you ever do go to recap this with this, please try to maybe burp some glue out and then suck some air in to clean that little precision tip before putting that needle back in there. Just a, just a note about the glue. What about the glue itself? That is part of the product. It comes with a bottle of glue and an empty bottle. So Nuvo Deluxe Adhesive is a very good glue. You know I have used it when I've done uh, on the creative team for Tonic Studios. And one of the benefits of using this glue is it takes a little longer to dry, which in many situations is helpful. So I will explain that. And that is that when you are working on a really fine detailed uh, item that you are gluing, and you start adhering, you can see right here, you see how this is clear because that's drying, this is not. But when you're doing this like really intricate filigreed uh, detailed lace work, by the, with some glues, by the time you get to the end of that die cut that you've just done, the first part is already dried. And you do need it to stay moist just a little bit longer when you're doing that fine detailed work. Also, when you're gluing 3D projects like with Tonic Studios, and you're gluing all these sides together, right? And lining up edges perfectly, you need wiggle room to be able to get it adjusted right before it already sets. Some of the other glues you will find dry too quickly and then you have to tear apart your project to in order to get it re reattached. So I do like the glue. It is, a, it is a very good glue for you to be trying. Now you know because you have a clear bottle or empty bottle here, you can refill it with whatever glue you want. But if you don't care for Nuvo's glue, you will have to use it or empty this and clean it and refill it with whatever glue that you have chosen. So what about the price? The overall price, it is uh, prohibitive for many people. And it took me a while to decide to go ahead and purchase this because if I didn't like it, I've sp that's a lot of money to spend on a product that I'm not going to like or not going to use. So. Could they have lowered the price? Well, hmm. It's my opinion, and it's not a complaint, it's just an observation that if they hadn't partnered with another company, such as Tonic Studios, to, to produce the Nuvo bottles and the Nuvo glue, then it could have been made at a lower price point. They could have used generic bottles, a generic shape, and no glue in, in the bottles at all that you fill with your own glue. It could have brought the price point down to a little more manageable, price point. So that's just a thought. Now, would other bottles fit in here? Some do. Nuvo Drops, but that's not a glue. Nuvo Drops can fit in there. And you know, that's just totally up to you whether you want. I don't, I don't use Nuvo Drops in enough sufficient quantity to do that, but they do fit in there all the way down. I wouldn't, it's just for squeezing, but I don't think that that's something that I really find necessary. So I won't be using mine for Nuvo Drops. I have played around with all of my two ounce bottles and glue bottles and none of them fit in here, but I do know that some people have said 
that their other small glue bottles will fit in here, the round ones, although, you know, whether you can actually touch the tip on the top of the silicone pad here, that's another story, I don't know. So just a thought there. The, uh, and also in the partnering, I just want to say that Nuvo glue bottles are a little harder to squeeze than maybe some other regular two ounce glue bottles such as this. This is harder to squeeze than this is, okay? So it's just a thought. There's something about the construction of the bottle that automatically makes this a little harder to squeeze, which would also make this a little harder to squeeze. So take a moment to subscribe to my channel and to stay tuned for that extra bit of information that you're going to like. So I gave this to my husband to play around with. He's an engineer. He always has sees things, uh, aspects of these that I don't really pay attention to. And he liked it. He liked the fact that you could squeeze the handle and get a steady, constant stream without the constant strain of holding this in. He said, and I quote, I like it. I think that's a handy little tool. So there you go, husband approved. Um, one more quick tip about the different tips on the glue. Uh, it can be that you can use, you could fill this with your glossy accents or some other type of adhesive such as Fabri-Tac. I have not tried to put Fabri-Tac in there to see if it would come out of this regular tip very well. I don't know. I haven't tried it, just saying. Um, because I don't want to put Fabri-Tac in this bot in my empty bottle at this point. I personally believe that if I do put another glue in here, it's going to just be the same glue, and I'm going to use the same PVA type paper glue in both my bottles because there are times when this fine tip is not going to work for what I'm doing. What if I needed to cover this whole thing in glue and put it down on a surface? I really want this tip right there, that medium tip. So that's my thought on what I would do for that. Now, are you ready for a super, super tip that you probably didn't weren't aware of? I want you to take your Nuvo bottle and hold it on the palm of your hand with your thumb on top and push down. Rotate it and do it again. You're gonna start sensing something. And that is that this side is harder to push down with my thumb than this one. The side that has the Nuvo writing on it is softer than this. So I thought, well, that's interesting. Let's try it on this one. This is an older bottle. Same thing. This is harder to push than this. What about the empty one? This is easier to push down than that. I never knew, blew me away. Now, it, I don't find that effect with this one, the four ounce. I don't see that happening at all. But on these two ounce bottles, I've noticed a significant difference. My husband was quick to point this out. He says, you know that bottle? He said the two sides are not the same. So if you want even an easier time to squeeze this, the side that says Nuvo on it, put that down facing, the, facing your table and slide it into your press so that the easy to squeeze side is being squeezed by this red handle. And it's just like when I was holding it with my thumb. It gives an easier squeeze than if you flip that glue bottle on its other side and squeeze the hard side of the bottle. Now you have to admit, that was pretty interesting. We were blown away by that. Didn't know that that was a possibility with this set. So it's a great glue. Uh, overall, I approve of this. I give it the lolly seal of approval. Uh, I do think the price point is a little high for what it is. I do think that this more people would appreciate this at a lower price point. But again, whether or not this is helpful for you, that remains to be seen because of your particular needs with your hand, your fingers, your wrist. But it's worth a shot. If you know anyone who has one, then uh, see if you can borrow it and give it a test run yourself and see what you think. So I hope I gave you a lot of tips to consider. There's more to saying than just, ooh, it feels like it squeezes easier. I wanted to give you more ideas on whether it actually is an easier tool to use than just squeezing a glue bottle. Check out the links down below and thank you all for watching.